Hey guys, welcome back to we'll go back to another video. So I just got out of my dental appointment, pretty much got my new set of Invisalign. From the title, you guys are actually reading it as what it is. So I'm heading over to the shop to pretty much start packing up and uh, it's probably my, it's, it's actually my last week. I'm, I have to be out by the end of the month. And I figured while I'm there and I have some Catalyst Down Pops, might as well install it there. This is my final mod I'm ever gonna do in the shop. And then today and tomorrow, I'm gonna be working on just getting my stuff out of there. And uh, I'll keep you guys all informed throughout the video on what's going on. But I'll let you guys know what's going on in this video and also the next. In today's video, we're going to be focusing on just installing the downpipes. Might as well. We have lifts. Might as well take advantage of it. Pack a few things. And tomorrow, I'll do a full explanation and uh, take everything out of the shop. In this video, though, I did partner up with my boys. Link down below. And they wanted to partner up and give away two of these shields. I don't know if you guys know what these shields are. But this prevents your belt from going inside of your engine. It pretty much goes around your crank seal. I actually picked one of these up for this car. And he actually reached out to me and was like, yo, do you want to do a giveaway? I'll put your name on it, put giveaway on it. You can give these two away to my followers. So I really appreciate him for that. To enter this giveaway is actually super easy. No purchase required. All you got to do is be subscribed to save a BMW because you guys are saving your BMWs, right? So save your BMW, link down below. Subscribe to that channel. Follow me on Instagram. And that's it. Just follow me on Instagram. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. And then comment down below because I'm picking out the comment from these video. Actually, I'm picking out two comments from this video. Anywho, uh, let me go ahead and get some food. We're going to head down to the shop and uh, just get get to work and final day at the shop. That's crazy. I guess we in Togo, boys. Togo's acquired. Right, guys, so we just made it to the shop, and this is absolutely my last day that I'm gonna be working on my cars here. So let's just go enjoy a meal real quick, and then I'll, I'll let you guys know what's going on. If you guys didn't know, this is my shop. Yep, I'm in my pretty much my living room space of the shop, and if you guys come over out to this room, this is considered our office of the shop, where, you know, some people try to walk podcast and stuff, which Jonathan tried. End of the thing, let's just go ahead and focus primarily on getting those downpipes in the 135 because I wanna take advantage of these lifts while I still can. Now that we're at the shop, there is a Corvette here, so we do need to move that Corvette out of the way, but let's just go ahead and wash the car first. I wanna give it a good wash. It has so much ash all over it because of the fire that's been around here, and I guess just, you guys can see, like, it's just not looking so good outside, to be honest. But yeah, if you guys look at the car, it is super filthy and, uh, yeah, it just needs a good wash before we actually start putting on some downpipes. I'm really trying to touch all of this, but uh, yes. More info to come on what's going on down there. All right guys, now that this car is looking pretty spotless, let's go ahead and just move out one of these two cars so we can get the 135 in here and start working on the car. So, which one is a lucky contestant? Which one's moving out? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by its toe. Uh, I'm gonna get this one out because I, I think that one is just gonna be a little bit harder to get out. I, I just, I don't know. This does look funner to drive though, but is it my car? No, it's a customer's car. I don't want to touch it, even though technically it's in, it's in, it's where I'm supposed to be and that's one of the reasons I'll be explaining later. So we're gonna go ahead and move John's car because I know John and I, I feel more comfortable touching his car than that car because that's not my car. I don't know who it is or why it's there. Anywho, let's go ahead and move out this car. I changed my mind. So John actually came here. I'm gonna see if he can get out this car for me real quick. So he's moving out the C7 Corvette. Oh my God, he's doing way too much. That's pretty freaking crazy. <laughs> what? Huh? I'm not dying, bro. Nah. Fuck, is there seatbelts? There's no seatbelt. <laughs> I'm trying to get married. I'm not. <laughs> okay, go for it. <laughs> that is pretty freaking crazy. Not gonna lie. All right, guys. So I think now we can just go ahead and move the car in. So the goal of today is to get the downpipes in. And why is there a plane? Wow, that thing is super low. That's crazy. Anywho, so we need to get two downpipes in there. I don't know how hard it's gonna be. I know getting the one downpipe in the 435 wasn't the easiest thing in the world. So hopefully it's not gonna be too bad on this car. But I know it's gonna sound absolutely insane. We still don't. We still have our muffler. So probably right after this, we're gonna go down to a muffler shop, cut off the muffler, and throw on a muffler delete because or a Vaptronic. Actually, let's go with the Vaptronic. <laughs> but anywho, let's go ahead and get the car in here and uh, get on the lift. I'm also curious to see if our oil pan job is holding up. Like, did we actually do a good job? Is it leaking oil from the oil pan? Because we did that, and that's one of the most common leaking points. So if we did that, and I don't see any oil down there. I'm gonna be so happy.
just got the 135 up. Let's go ahead and see. Is my oil pan leaking or are we good? Oh my God, it's so buttery. Oh my Lord, it's so beautiful. So there's no oil down here, guys. It's a little bit right here and it's always been a little bit right. Actually, it looks like it's literally, it's so minimal right there on that one screw always, but everything else is dry. Even the front of the oil pan is dry, which looks so good. Each axis gets, so, like they always leak oil from the oil pan. Even my 435 leaks a little bit, but my, all my e-chassis cars are leaking oil from the oil pan. We did the one on this one, and so far so good. I'm super excited. This is probably gonna be good for another 10 years at least. I mean, probably like five years at least, but I'm super excited about that. Anywho, so we have the Catalyst down pipes. Uh, we actually got these from Arm Motorsports. I went ahead and called them, partnered up with them to do that. I actually also went down to uh, Home Depot, and he picked up some pretty good deals on some Milwaukee tools. So, um, you know, it was like a buy one, get one. It was something insane like that at Home Depot. I was just going around, because I, I like walking around in Home Depot. It's just a nice place for, for, for people that have creative you know minds and shit so i mean and it's a, it's a place that i go to if i'm like really bored i don't know why yeah, it just it just is like i love home depot when i was younger it used to be gamestop um <laughs> but now it's home depot so anywho found some good deals on that to so pick up some new tools uh which is cool and my newest addition to my tool collection is a flashlight from milwaukee this thing's actually super sick I don't know why I'm advertising them as if they sponsor. They really should sponsor me, but anyhow, if I show you guys this little flashlight here, it's battery powered. And now finally, like, as you guys can see, the light literally, like, wherever I need it, it's just, it's perfect. I don't have to hold a flashlight anymore. I don't need Jonathan holding up his phone and yelling at him and shit. I'm like, Jonathan, hold the light. I can't see. So yeah, so that's pretty sick. So we got the light now. This thing's actually super bright. You get, there's three settings for it. Anywho, we're not advertising that. Shout out to Arms Motorsports for partnering up to actually get some downpipes on this car. So go ahead and crack this sucker open. We, we gotta open it. Up. Look at that quality. Uh, yeah, so that's super. I love it when companies actually put their brand oh, name on there. So sick. Like it only takes an extra second to do that, so I love it when they do that. Yeah, that looks sick. So we have that. It actually comes with the hardware, the gaskets. So uh, I have a feeling this is not going to be the easiest thing in the world because the one on the 435 is not fine. But and this is two instead of one. So I, I mean, you never know. It could be easier. So well, I guess we'll find we'll out. We'll see. <laughs> Chilling like a villain right there. So let's go ahead and just remove. Those four bolts, that looks rusted AF, and then uh, remove those down pipes. Hopefully, it's not gonna be too hard. I know on the 435 wasn't the easiest thing in the world, but uh, hopefully, it's not gonna be too hard on here. You and me stuck on the ocean now. Nothing but waves in this villain in. I wanna dry up, but you just keep on going, don't you? I don't even know how we got here. All my reasoning have disappeared. All right, guys, so we dropped the steering rack and everything, and now you guys can see we can pretty much get to the top of the cats right here. Uh, this does look like an absolute pain, but uh, oh, buddy, let's just keep going. Inside this dome, I will not let us fade away. It's not a price I want to pay, and it's not. All right, guys, so we do, uh, we just disconnected the cat right here. Uh, at least one of the O2 sensors. Apparently, there's two on each downpipe. So there's one on the top, one on the bottom. We routed it to the bottom. So bada bing, bada bing. That's one cat there out. There we go, there we go. There's no oil in here. That's good. Which, according to Erlan, it's a good thing, right? Yeah, that's a really good thing. So that's good. Yep. All right, guys, so we got the second downpipe out. And then careful with the sensor, just kind of guide it out. That's the second one. All right, so these already have these gaskets, which we're not gonna be using. It comes with new ones right here. It actually comes with new hardware as well. Um, the sensors, we're gonna be moving them over, so we just gotta match them up. Which one looks like which? All right, guys, I'm looking like an absolute train wreck. Don't look at me, but if you guys check out the cat, that one did take a lot of finicking. Uh, the, C, the, the stupid V clamps are such a pain, but I think we got it in there somewhat. We do need to slightly adjust it to make sure it matches up with the exhaust, and then we'll go ahead and tighten it up there, and then we are good to go on one of them. That is actually really surprising that the screw was able to go in without me needing to clamp it. Basically, on the 435, I needed to I, I needed to do something pretty janky um, with the V clamp. Mind you, that has nothing to do with the downpipe. That's literally the clamp that comes on your original cat. You have to reuse it, and that clamp is such a pain. On the 435, remember, it took me two hours, and this car took about I would say 45 minutes to an hour on that one. So hopefully, we can knock out the other one just as fast. I think the other one's gonna be a little bit easier. Yeah, I do think it's gonna be a little bit easier. So. Um, thank the Lord I got that one. I literally, as soon as I got it up there, I was like, Jonathan, I was like screaming at Jonathan, he was in there, and I had him come out and help me put in the screw, because I was not gonna let go. Anywho, let's go ahead and finish up the other one, um, and uh, we'll show you guys, hopefully I get it done. Let me see what time it is, so I can give you guys a little bit of ETA. It is 3 p.m. Hopefully, we can get this done by 4 p.m. Alright guys, so your man's finally got 
himself a little bit cleaned up, a little bit somewhat more presentable. His hands are somewhat cleaner. At least his whole body's not super dirty. But the car is ready and 100% put together. So uh, yeah, let me show you guys the downpipes real quick. So these are the arm. Oh, dude, that looks good. You got to see it from the side on the bottom. It shows the logo and everything. Check that out. That's pretty sick. That's dope. So yeah, we got the downpipes in. We have all the cats and O2. I mean, we have the O2 sensors in. No more cats on this car. So uh, this thing's gonna sound pretty good. Really good. It's gonna stink, I think, but it's gonna sound good. Then the 335, like it's a lot like shorter. So it should be a lot louder because normally it's louder than the 335 anyway. Oh, actually, that would make sense. Yeah. yeah. I think these are. Wait, are these cats or resonators? I'm pretty I sure believe these are resonators. resonators and then uh, this is the muffler. Muffler and then. Oh wait. There's like, there's like two small mufflers. Wait, that looks like secondary cats. I think these might be secondary cats. Damn, I'm gonna have to delete those as well. Ah man, we have some cat. We have some more cats. Resonator, muffler. All right, we're doing a muffler delete. We might have to get rid of those cats as well. We're gonna have. We need flames, bro. Flames on this. We need to delete all of this. <laughs> it like a yeah, so uh, let's go ahead and lower the car, take it out for its first spin. Hopefully, it sounds really good. I don't know, well, but I'm assuming. It's gonna sound really good. It's gonna sound really good. Okay, then I'm super excited about that. So this is again from Arms Motorsports. I'm gonna have the link down below if you guys want to check it out. Also, guys, don't forget about the giveaway. If you guys want to enter that giveaway, that's how I have confidence driving my car every single day because I know if that belt ever snapped, it's not going inside my motor. So if you guys want to enter that giveaway, again, it's completely free. Just subscribe to Save a BMW down below and just follow me on Instagram and then just comment down below once you've done so. I want you guys to get these. I mean, I literally would save your engine. It's worth every freaking penny. And these are, and I'm giving away two right now for free. And if you guys want to buy them, their link is going to be also linked down below. All right, guys, let's go ahead and lower the 135. I'm super stoked for this. Uh, this thing is super cool, but we didn't even really need it. So uh, it didn't work out this time. Might work out another day. This is how a 135 sounds with just catless downpipes. There's nothing else done to the exhaust. Just catless downpipes. <laughs> it's way louder. Really? Dude, it's way louder. It's kind of the same from here. Really? Yeah. Woo! Smell bad? Woo! <laughs> Already, oh. there's no way. I get how many nah, I'm kidding. I don't think so. It's that quick. Yeah. It sounds super raspy. Bro, it sounds so raspy back there. It sounds so raspy. Uh, that feels so weird. It sounds really weird, actually. I think we definitely at least delete the muffler. It's holding it back so much. So much. I think I'm gonna go full straight pipe. Yeah? Guys, 3,000 likes. Full straight and pipe? Full straight pipe next video. Oh my god. I think I wanna delete the muffler in this video, but I will delete the secondary cats or whatever that is and the resonators. Next video, 3,000 likes. All right, guys. <laughs> it sounds so raspy. Like it. It's so raspy. Yeah, it needs a muffler. Dude, it, just, it literally sounds so raspy. Yeah, I, I don't know. Oh, it's popped. <laughs> That is the first pop I've ever heard from this car. I know. <laughs> we are back in this shop, and yeah, the car just sounds terrible, to be honest. Like, just terrible. So, uh, what we're gonna go ahead and do is just jack the car up, get it all the way back up, and cut off the muffler. And uh, I hope it sounds a lot better. That's the goal, that's the dream, that's the that's everything. So, it's, I hope to God it's pretty easy at least to cut off the muffler so we can hear a pretty decent car today. And like I said, guys, 3,000 likes, and we'll go full straight pipe. So, do you guys wanna see that? Just cut off the muffler. So uh, I'm hoping this thing's gonna sound a lot better. It sounded so raspy, it sounded so bad. I hope I don't have a problem with my car because that just sounded so bad. So I'm hoping once you remove this muffler, it's gonna sound really good. Um, but yeah, we just need to remove it off the stupid, uh, what's it called? The hanger. Hangers, those suck on these cars. Yeah, these ones know. are really difficult. It there's no bolt, you can't bolt there's it no, in. There's no bolts on these cars, like welded. Ah, uh, yeah, that's, oh, yeah. that sucks so much. Oh, actually? Is it bolted on that this one? This one's bolted, that right. one's welded. So we can move it off that one and then pull it out back Yeah. Back. That'd okay. be perfect. Cool. So um, let's go ahead and remove that bolt. Catless down, oh shit. Catless down pipes and muffler delete. So hopefully it sounds a lot better. I hope so. I hope so too, so. Let's see. Yeah. Yep, sounds a lot better. <laughs> First pull, catalyst down pipes, well for delete. Pretty quick. <laughs> we need verbals. We need, need verbals on this, yeah. 
<laughs> sounds good. It sounds way better now. <laughs> now it's it like good. day and night. Yeah. You have paddles! So, I know, but it feels like a manual! <laughs> oh my god! It sounds so much better! You're crazy! so good and this is like the death light i hate this light my friend had to get it, uh, get a new motor because of this light oh my god so uh, but i do think i do think it's because of uh cats all right guys we're just doing another pull real quick try and get that check engine light again <laughs> so good it sounded so good on my on my phone guys i think i sent it a little too hard <laughs> what, the, what the hell my bumper is coming off the car and it's all piping hot what the hell oh my god it's so hot wait what the whole rail where it's sitting on just came off what the heck guys i think i sent it a little too hard i just pretty much totaled the car without even hitting anything all right i gotta figure out what's going on here but the bumper is so hot even to touch that is crazy guys i just melted my rear bumper <laughs> i don't even know what the title of this video is leaving the shop catalyst dime pipe install burning my whole rear end bumper like what is going on what is going on i really hope i don't lose the bumper on the highway or something my god hey yo jonathan i think you need to see the back of the car what happened I think I sent it a little too hard. No way. <laughs> Whoa, I don't even know. Like, how does this happen? Look at the back. So first off, I saw the gap there, right? Look at the gap throughout the whole freaking bumper. What happened? It's so hot. Like, if you touch it, it's piping hot. I think the, the pops or the backfires ripped off the bumper. If you touch, it's so freaking hot. And, if, and the thing is that's sad, too. The plastics that hold the bumper melted. This all melted. If you look in there. Wow. Is it that hot? I guess it gets that hot. I don't even know. I need to, I need to get to an exhaust shop ASAP and get a muffler put on or some pipes come out. I don't even know what to do, dude. Can I even drive like this? I just have to drive it like super low. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know. I don't even know either, dude. Hold on. Hold this. Hold this. How did that happen, dude? I don't think we thought this through exactly. Cut off a muffler, callus. I guess it's, I guess that's not allowed. I didn't know that. Damn. And that wow. That is a lot of pressure. Yes. Dang. All right, guys. So we're gonna have to remove the bumper because I can't drive home like this. I called Jason from Burger Tuning. This is not their downpipes or anything, but I called them because they know a lot about these cars and I don't. He says it's normal at this point. I'm probably shooting flames and it melted all of this. So guys, do not just cut off your mufflers like I did or you're gonna have an expensive repair like I did. So, um. So I don't know if you guys see the rear bumper, but basically there's supposed to be tabs right here. These all melted right where the exhaust is. The, the wrap even peeled back. The fuse is actually fine. The bumper for the most part is fine. Just those fuse tabs in the middle. But that's not the part that I was kind of worried about. All these tabs, I don't know if you guys can see, melted back. Obviously, this is a plate you can remove. All these tabs, you guys can see, this is kind of a little bit warpy right here. Look at it warped right here. This is insane. All this plastic, everything over here warped and just you guys can see all this even pushed downward. It's not supposed to be like that. And all this melted and broke off. That's not supposed to look like that either. So we're gonna need all new brackets in the rear, which is insane to think, wow, wow. That's not supposed to look like that. I'm gonna be driving home guys at, at, as slow as I can and I'm not gonna be doing anything to this car in terms of power until we get the rear bumper and do the modifications because that's bad. Guys, look at that. It's just, oh my God, this thing's like disintegrated. All these tabs too, that is crazy. Look at this one, it's just pushed in. Oh, these are pushed in. These are like pulled out. 
Oh my God. Oh, it melted outwards. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and try to drive home safely. In the next video, we're actually gonna be moving out of this place. We're gonna be packing up all my stuff and I'll show you guys what we're gonna be doing next. So stay tuned for that video. But don't forget guys, if you guys wanna enter the giveaway, just follow my second channel link down below and my Instagram. I pretty much announced the winners on there. And if you guys are also trying to figure, and if you guys wanna wonder what's going on with this car, probably will know in the next video as well. So without further ado guys, if you guys enjoyed the sound, you enjoyed the full send, make sure to smash the like button because it cost me a hefty penny, took me a lot of time. You know, you you, you you pay to play, so. And you learn the consequences. And you learn the consequences. And I have a check engine light that I have to get like a, a DP or something. Anywho, without further ado guys, smash that like button. Please support your man. YouTube has not been recommending my videos this past like, you know, week or two. I don't know why. A lot of my friends are not getting recommended either. So smashing that like button is gonna be helping me, helping helping the channel as well. So without further ado guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.